once your domain name is active we're going to log into your website and the way you log into your website is you can go back to the email and right click this link right here or the way you can log into your website is you just type in your domain name and at the end you add a slash and then you write wp dash admin and that should take you to the login screen so after your domain name is active just go to this to this URL type it in and then you can log in with your username and the password so the password was emailed to you unless you've changed it like I did if you changed it then use that password if not then use this password from the email click on remember me and log in now this is your main WordPress dashboard it might look a little bit scary at first but believe me it's uh, it's it's not this pop-up message right here we're gonna close we're gonna dismiss this message over here we don't need it okay so it says welcome to WordPress let's get started what are your next steps you know this is just a welcome message at a glance you have one post one comment one page and you're wondering what is this I never made any posts or comments this is just dummy content that that gets imported by default when you install WordPress you can delete this later here you can write quick drafts and save them uh, this shows your activity again it shows you a comment was posted which was a dummy comment created by WordPress and over here you have WordPress news if you're interested in what's new about WordPress you can click on these links down there but you're never going to need to use this section I have never used this section in my life I just always like click on these links whatever I need right here so um, underneath the home tab you have the update uh, link here is where you can upgrade WordPress by default it will upgrade automatically so you don't have to do anything here uh, I'm just showing you this just you know in case you're curious what you really gotta know though are all these options on the left right here so under posts is where you're gonna be creating your blog you have all posts add new categories tags you know this is the dummy post that was created you click on it this is where you can edit it after we install a theme this editor is going to be much better you can al you also have the media tab right here here's where you add your images your your picture uh, your videos actually you wouldn't add videos here use YouTube for videos don't host videos on your website it's going to kill your bandwidth um, over here you have pages now the difference between pages and posts is posts are for a blog for your blog post uh, your blog posts that's it you will never create pages here pages are things like the contact page about page um, whatever page but it's not a blog it's not a blog post so here's where you you would make your contact pages and your about pages and your home page and all that kind of stuff comments is if you allow people to comment on your blog posts or your pages they're gonna leave comments and they're gonna end up under this section forms we're going to delete these these got pre-installed automatically these are crap we're going to get rid of those under appearance is where you is where you can set up themes uh, you can switch themes set up new themes you under widgets you can um, edit your sidebar and your footer menu is where you edit the menu that's in the on, it's at the top of your website by the logo like the main menu you're going to edit that here these these options you're not not really going to use plugins is where you add new plugins here you can search for what you have and here up here you can add new and search for new plugins under users you'll have your username and if you allow if you create a website for example like a membership website where you open membership to people this is where all the users are going to end up under tools you can import and export your content and under settings you can change a bunch of different settings now <coughs> I'm actually gonna show you a few settings that you need to change right off the bat so under settings go to general